Hey, welcome back. Today I'm making a leather hip quiver. My old quiver broke recently, so I'm going to be making another one, and this one's roughly patterned after that. I start out by drawing my design onto this leather, and I'm drawing it on the inside of the leather so that the pencil marks won't be seen on the outside or anything like that. And of course, I'm using this sheet of G10 for a nice 90 degree angle because, you know, that's high tech, and I'm too lazy to get an actual square out. But I'm just tracing this out so that I can cut it, and this is going to be the main piece of the quiver. This is going to be way, way nicer than my old quiver, which was kind of flimsy and broke. This one is going to be nice and heavy, and it's going to have some design work on it. More on that later. Once I've got that main piece of leather cut out, I'm going to use my edge beveler to bevel the edges. This is actually a really satisfying step just because you can see just this nice strip coming off and it leaves a nice edge behind. The next piece that I cut out is this round piece which is going to be the bottom of the quiver. Once I've got it cut out, I mold it wet around the base of a WD-40 can just because I found out that was the exact right size I needed. While that's drying, I go ahead and cut out the next part of this which is kind of this overlay piece, which is going to have the pouch on it, as well as the straps that are going to go to a ring that I can use to hang it from my belt. When I'm cutting out these straps, I use a straight edge with my knife, and I also use my hole punch just to make the corners nice and not like raggedy or too sharp. Then I mark the slit where the lid or the flap for the pouch is going to come through, because the pouch is going to be kind of set on top and the flap's going to come out from behind, if that makes sense. And then I'm just using the drill press to drill out the ends of this slit and then I'll connect the dots with the knife. Next, I need to make the pouch. So first, I start by using my bandsaw to make a mold for it. It's going to be basically two pieces where I've got kind of an outside mold and an inside mold and the leather is going to be pressed between them. So I cut out the piece of leather I need and then get it wet and then I can press it and clamp it between the two pieces. Once it's clamped I can leave it to dry overnight and in the morning it'll be good to go. I have some excess leather on here so I use this kind of mold just to cut off the extra because it's already the right shape and holds it steady while I cut it. This worked alright, probably wasn't necessary but it worked fine. And that's really what matters. I've been using kind of this herb chopper I made as for leather, for cutting leather, and it works pretty great. It's kind of funny. But there's a little bit of rough spots where the mold kind of scratched the leather. So I'm get, using a little bit of moisture, and I'm just kind of smoothing that back out. I'm marking and cutting around the pouch. And then after I've done that, I use my edge beveler again just to kind of smooth those edges out and make them nice and then I cut out what's going to be the flap that's going to go over and snap onto the pouch just to go over it and close it and I use this spool just as you know kind of a guide to get that radius and that worked out pretty nice. So I wanted to do kind of a leaf pattern on this so I laid out some leaves took a picture and then I used the find edges feature in Photoshop to kind of make it more sharp and a little more crisp so I could see the lines. Then I just printed it out and taped it down to this leather. And then basically I could just get the leather nice and moist and then I could kind of follow all those lines with my tool. And it would go through the paper, even though it was pretty thick paper, and it would still imprint into the leather and that gave me my lines and my designs and that worked out super great and I really need to try this more. It worked very well. This is probably my favorite part of leather work. Just kind of getting to sit down and carve and draw this stuff out. I'm not really much of a drawer on paper, but on leather it's different for me, I guess. It's a little bit, it's got more depth, which I like. And it's just calming to just sit down and work on carving something like this and listen to music or watch Netflix, something like that. The only problem is this did take forever, and by the end of this, my hands were really, really cramping. But other than that, it was a whole lot of fun. So I wanted to give this even more depth, and I wanted these leaves to really kind of pop out of the piece of leather. So I'm going in with my beveling tool, and I'm beveling the edges around it. And this just kind of makes the background kind of sit back a little further and makes the leaves pop out. It looks really nice, and it's got more texture, and I really like it. 
So I'm kind of mixing some dyes here and I'm going for kind of like a reddish brown. And I think the color I ended up with is just really, really nice and I like it a whole lot. And I'm obviously doing the same color on all the other parts. And then once I've done this, I'm pretty much ready to start sticking everything together. So I'm just setting these snaps in place so that I can move on to the next thing. And the next thing is figuring out where all these, well, where this pouch and the flap behind it are going to sit so that everything can line up and be good. So I'm just kind of tracing around it and I'm going to use contact cement to stick it together. And please don't use your knife like that. Don't be like me. I'm an idiot. Knives aren't for prying. There's tools for that. But anyways, moving on. I'm just going to use this contact cement to stick this flap into place. Once we've got that flap glued in place, I'm going to go to the drill press and punch out some holes so that I can go and stitch through them just so that that flap is very securely sewn on there, not just held in by glue. If carving leather is one of my favorite parts of leather work, sewing it is definitely my least favorite part of this. It just takes forever and we've got all this thread and oh my god, it's just such a pain. But anyways, it's something I gotta do until I've got a sewing machine, which hopefully will be at some point, some point soon, but not yet. But yeah, it's an important part, so it's gotta be done well. Once that's sewn, I use my knife to scuff the area where the pouch is gonna be sewn on. That just gives the contact cement more to grab onto and it facilitates a better bond. So basically then I just stick that pouch on there and drill out my holes and sew that on as well. Next up is drilling out the holes on the main seam of this thing. So I've got to do holes all the way down each side of this main part of the quiver so that when I roll it up I can sew the two sides together and it's just going to be kind of butted together. And I'm going to do these kind of cross stitches. There's probably some kind of name for it but I don't know what it is. Sewing this was a real pain. It took forever and I didn't have any curved needles so I kind of had to just work around that. I got it done but it was kind of a real pain. Also it was really hard to keep it round. It wanted to go kind of pear shaped on me as you can kind of see in this video. So if you've got any tips on how to keep things nice and round when I do a joint like this, let me know. I'd appreciate it. And then I stuck that end cap in and it fits so nicely I didn't even need to glue it. I just popped it in there and drilled my holes and then I was able to sew it up. And that went super smoothly, and it actually looks really good. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now I've got to stick that overlay piece onto the main part of the quiver. I'm using the same contact cement here, but it didn't really want to stick. Not sure why. I probably just didn't let it cure long enough, or I didn't put enough on there. So I ended up kind of just holding it in place while I drilled these holes out, and that worked fine. Once I got the holes drilled, I sewed the top together. And then I got the leather a little bit wet and I used some clamps to hold the sides together just so that there would be a nice place for me to sew and, and I wouldn't have to like worry about it just kind of flopping around on me. So I got it wet and I just put some clamps on there. And then once that was more dry, I was able to drill my holes and make another line of stitching. I sew these straps onto this ring so that I can clip this quiver onto one of the belt loops that I use for my choppers. It's basically a belt loop with a clip on it, and it makes taking it on and off really easy. And now that I'm finished, it's time to go shoot my bow. I had a lot of fun making this quiver and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really nice because this is going to be something I can use for a long time. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments.
make sure to like and subscribe and go check me out on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.